Next up is discovering what an adjustment layer is, where they are in GIMP, and how to use them. So if you're ready, let's do it. All right, so an adjustment layer is a type of layer, but it's a very special type of layer. An adjustment layer is used to contain a specific type of editing tool. We take our editing tool and we put it inside of a layer. For example, when you edit an image, you can access a tool to, I don't know, let's say make the image brighter. That tool, when selected, is available in an individual window or it's separated from all the other tools. However, we can turn that editing tool into a layer that resides inside of the layers panel with all your other layers, which is how it got its name, adjustment layer. All right, so the advantage of an adjustment layer versus having that editing tool outside and separate is that it gives you more control and flexibility over that editing tool. I have some good news and I have some bad news. The bad news is GIMP does not have this type of a layer, an adjustment layer, built into it like Photoshop. But the good news is I have a workaround that will allow you to mimic adjustment layers in GIMP so that you have that flexibility of using the editing tools for your creative vision. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right back into GIMP and learn why we want to use adjustment layers and how we can use them in GIMP. So just for demonstration purposes, we're going to increase the exposure of this image. So let's go up to colors, levels, and then we're going to adjust the levels midpoint or the midtone section by clicking on this little triangle here and moving it to the left. So the image is now overexposed. It's not a type of edit that I would recommend, but again, just for demonstration purposes. So let's go ahead and click OK. Now we're going to go ahead and save this edit by going up to File, select Export As. We're going to keep the same file name and click Export. It's going to ask, do you want to replace the original file? In this case, we do, so click Replace. Go ahead and click export on this next window. Let's go ahead and close this file. Go ahead and select discard changes. And then we're gonna go back up to file, open up that same image as before. And let's say we do this tomorrow, next week, next year. After we edit the image, we save it, we close it, we come back. We realize we over edited the image and it's overexposed. Now what? Well, you could go back up to colors, levels, and try and adjust it. But the only problem is you're going to begin degrading the quality of the image and it's not going to be the same as the original. So what you have done is you've done what is known as destructive editing. You've applied an edit directly to the pixels and you altered them in a way that you cannot get them back because you saved over the original file. Unless you have a duplicate of that particular file or a backup of that file, you've essentially ruined the image forever. You're out of luck. All right, so now let's take a look at how we should be editing our images. So go ahead and close out that file. We're gonna go back to file and open, and we're going to open up image 02, which is the same image. Now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this layer by coming down here and clicking on this duplicate layer icon, okay? Let's go ahead and double click right here so we can rename this layer. And let's just call it exposure edit. Now we're gonna go back up to colors and select levels again. And again, we're going to adjust the exposure to make it overexposed. So go ahead and do that, click okay. And now this layer is different from this layer. So we have our original and our edited layer. So in essence, this edited layer is our adjustment layer. So let's see how this works. We're gonna go up to File, select Save As, and now GIMP is going to amend the file type XCF 
to the file name so that we can save the layers and keep everything intact. Go ahead and click save. Close that file. Go back in and reopen the o2.xcf file. We have both layers still intact. We have our adjustment layer and now we realize that the image is overexposed and we over edited the image. So we can come up to our opacity slider up here and then we can click and drag it to the left to tone it down and then it will blend in with the layer below it. So we still have the flexibility and control of re-editing our image because we can adjust the opacity. But if at some point we decide we're not getting the results we want, we can either turn this layer off or we can come down here and delete the layer and then start our editing over with the original layer. So we've in essence worked what is known as non-destructively. So we can use an adjustment layer in this manner to work non-destructively to give us the flexibility and control to edit our images again in the future. Now, I will admit, if you have ever used adjustment layers in Photoshop, it's not 100% exactly the same, but this is the best workaround at this point in time. And I will add that the developers at GIMP are in the process of updating GIMP to include adjustment layers that are going to be much more robust and professional and more like the Photoshop option in a future release. However, we do not have a specific timeline for when that will happen. Until then, this is the best workaround. All right, congratulations on completing this section on layers. In the next section, you're gonna discover how to edit your raw files with GIMP. If you're ready for that, let's do it.